If at first we used the trades object for object, we moved then to gold, money based on gold, and now money based on nothing, that are printed at maximum, and that can be blocked at any time if the banks decide. The obvious speaks for itself, but probably this concern is neglected by the people, not realizing the gravity of the situation, at least not yet. Because indeed, things are going to work as they did until now, until the bubble pops. When people will have enough of this crisis of real money, they will look up from the world of atoms to the world of bits. A new economy is rising. If you are someone like me, concerned about how the future of money will look during our lifetime and wanting to understand if cryptocurrencies truly are a better, much safer and a more stable alternative to the physical fiat money that we have globally accepted from generation to generation as our main source of transaction, then this video is for you because we'll cover key aspects about the balance between fiat money and cryptocurrencies. This will be a comparison based on what is actually happening in the world right now. So, if you already got comfortable with my little guy right here, we shall begin. Just like the past 20 years were marked by the evolution of internet, the next 10-15 years will remark through the evolution of blockchains. Let's take the following example. When you put $100 in a wallet, in one year you won't have the same $100 you lose the buying value of those $100. At the end of the year, you won't be able to buy the same thing with those dollars that you could have at the beginning of the year. This is the soul crypto brings in the economy, preserving the value of money. Money lose its value because of the inflation, which means more and more money is printed. Never in the history of the world has so much money been printed. The average of printed US dollars since 1980 was around 400 billion. Last year, 4.7 trillion dollars. But the world still needs US dollars. In a race to zero, the US dollar is still the best option. And it could take over 5-10 years before the transition happens, before the fall of fiat becomes obvious. Stacking cash is becoming more and more dangerous. Putting your money in a bank is bad and pointless. Inflation eats your money without you realizing. Hard work money are becoming worthless money. Let's take an example, $100,000. In 30 years from now, with a 2.5% inflation rate, will be worth $47,600. Can you imagine that? But what if inflation raises to 3% or 4%? One solution is adopting a network that is not inflationary. The next 10-15 years will stand out through the fall of the current financial economy and the rise and evolution of the blockchain and cryptocurrency. Don't wait until it's too late. The process already begun. Take action, invest smartly, fight inflation, protect your money and stay informed. The fall of fiat cannot be reversed. What we can do is embrace the change and adapt. Look for the possibilities that are opened with it. We are at the start of a new financial system. We'll see the entire economy transitioning to the blockchain technology. But could blockchain eventually lead to the end of banks? Banks can be part of this new era, provided they are prepared to adapt and significantly improve their services. But with so many significantly better and cheaper financial applications emerging thanks to blockchain technology, their only chance to survive is through swift and concrete decisions. On the other hand, even though cryptocurrencies have far more potential than fiat money and they preserve their value much better even than silver and gold, the market is so volatile right now that it raises uncertainties and doubts about whether it's truly a safe investment and place to put your money into. Because honestly, compared to inflation, a crash in the crypto market like the ones we are witnessing lately is far more painful and disastrous. I believe though that once the blockchain technology becomes more and more globally accepted and nations begin to transit to this system, Cryptocurrencies will mark the new economical era. 
Even if Bitcoin is the most valuable crypto, its system is 12 years old and considering that the blockchain is by nature more practical and evolved than the bank system, there are even better blockchain technologies than the one Bitcoin has. But even then, there are thousands of cryptos with so much high potential, with such a strong core and projects that formed around them communities of adopters, that it could take even up to a decade until the global adoption happens indeed. But speaking from inside one blockchain system, the benefits of the system are incomparable to the ones of fiat currency and bank systems. Blockchain is faster, cheaper, more secured and beside that the strongest foundation that offers the possibility to build an entire ecosystem that could leverage and benefit human life in so many ways. We are talking about no more bullshit paperwork and documents to be completed at every corner which will save time, money, resources and help the environment. The entire traffic system being digitalized and run on the blockchain Electric cars will save up the full price of a fuel-based car in like 10 years. And starting from just these two examples, combined with the development of artificial intelligence, can make you imagine how much potential this can have. Blockchain technology will very likely be the most important GDP multiplier for the next few decades, reshaping economies around the world and opening a new era of unparalleled opportunities.